everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking all things Christmas. I want to get in the vibes and the magical feelings and my TBR for December is Christmas books along with some like ebooks from my library but I'll get to that. And I also want to share some like TV shows and movies that I've been watching to get in the spirit as well because they're my absolute favorite. When I started going and actually like looking up what movies and TV shows were out there and even what books, oh my gosh there's so many. Um, so I'm going to talk about ones from 2020 and some that I liked from 2019. And a lot of the books that are on my list are actually by indie authors so I get to continue that and they're more like novellas or anthologies because I'm kind of trying to research that for my own thing. And I just saw Kate Cavanaugh did an anthology for Meet Cute. She read that and um, did like an analysis on it. So I think I'm going to do that with one of the ones I'm going to be reading, which is Tis the Season for Love. Look at all that smudgy goodness. Well, y'all can't get it, but there we go. <laughs> Probably should just keep them all up. So I also want to read Caitlin Duckins Wrapped Up for Christmas and Marie Landry's A Very Perry Christmas. And I think she also had The Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Those are the four, and by four I mean that anthology has a lot, but those are the ones I want to get through. Currently my ebook loan from the library is A Song Below Water, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's I have like so many books on my TBR, but I'm trying to focus on just these Christmas ones and whatever comes in the ebook loan. So that's my TBR and I have hopefully have gotten through one or two by the time this video comes out. I think the anthology analysis, because my days are kind of like Tuesday, Thursday, it might come out on Christmas Eve. Um, so maybe that'll be a fun thing to watch on Christmas Eve. But um, for the movies that I saw were Operation Christmas Drop. Um, I really liked that one. And in watching and reading all these books, like, I'm a, you know, contemporary romance writer anyway. And so I kind of know, like, the plot and path that these stories are going to take, which kind of ruins it for myself. But I'm still able to kind of relax into it and enjoy it. So that's nice. <laughs> Um, I watched The Holiday and that one was like maybe too vulgar crass for me. <laughs> um, it was it was different. It wasn't my favorite. Um, let me know if you've seen it and let me know your thoughts. But um, then I watched The Happiest Season, which I did like. Um, I think we're all of the opinion that Kristen Stewart and Aubrey should have ended up together in the end. <laughs> um, I don't know that anyone liked Harper and um, the whole ending, there was some stuff that was like inconsistent. But I thought that one was just really cute. I loved all of their scenes together, not so much the Harper part. But what was funny to me is that um, Dan Levy... Holy, is that his name? Oh my gosh. I just know him as David. Holy cow. <laughs> um, when he was talking to Kristen about, you know, your character not, your, your character, your person that you're with not being ready to come out and that's not really your fault and you can either like move on or stick with them. Like there's nothing that you did wrong. It's on their end. I had a very similar conversation in my nano novel I just got done writing and so I was like dang this story is like taking my story and I have a Harper in that one and a Riley in my Project Emma and I was just like dang Happiest Season stole everything. Just kidding. <laughs> but it was like very like whoa. If y'all want to just like chill out and watch like the Great British Baking Show Holiday Edition that might be something fun. Uh, you can even make cookies while you do that. We got uh, Ollie and Amy apron to help his Momo is what we call her um, with Christmas cookies this year and he wanted to wear that apron like all day every day and is just super excited he's gonna be a hot mess in the kitchen but um, it'll be fun I'll try to take some photos of that um, okay so then the princess switch switched again came out and I watched it while wrapping presents so I wasn't like too focused on it but like I kind of saw the twist coming with the switched again part and I think I probably missed a lot of it but <laughs> um, I also don't really remember switched the first one so they kind of did a good recap in the switched again about like who was with who and how's everyone's going and stuff like that uh, I enjoyed it for like the story that it is that you can just put on and do other stuff, you know what I mean? But it had good Christmassy vibes. Last year I watched The Night Before Christmas, and I think Homegirl might have been in that one too. Um, and I think that one was good. I enjoyed it, I believe. Hard to remember from last year, but I'm just throwing that out there as a 
I don't remember it as being crap, so <laughs> that might be another idea. Um, the holiday calendar. I absolutely loved that one, and that has the same chick in it who was in Operation Christmas Shop, and I'm sorry, I don't know names and I'm not looking them up, but um, that one was super cute about the magical like advent calendar thing, and um, I really enjoyed that one. And last year, Anna Kendrick was in that Noel movie, and she's like the sister of Santa Claus or Saint Nick or whatever, and um, that one was cute. It kind of had that like more childish vibe and um, you know the spirit of Christmas and how the magic works. Like how all that stuff works. So that was just a cute and I love Anna Kendrick so that was fun for me. And then the TV show that I watched is called Dash and Lily and I'm gonna have an unpopular opinion that I really wanted Lily to be with Dash's friend. <laughs> I don't know why I do that to myself. I always want them to go off with some other character like in um, The Happiest Season. So maybe that's just me, but if you watch Dash and Lily, let me know your thoughts on that. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts on any of those if you've seen them, if you thought any of them were duds or not, or if they've made your new favorite. And about any of the books that I'm going to be reading, let me know if you're excited for the anthology that I'll be going through as well. I just kept seeing all these books on Instagram and I was like, okay, you know what? You're like, you're 99 cents, you're $1.99, $2.99, like I can do that and support you and uh, read these hopefully fantastic <laughs> holiday books for December. I've never really like done a theme like this before where it's just Christmas books and um, I think it's also helpful that I also would like to write my own novellas or I guess you're part of an anthology so I guess it'd be more like a serial if I were to write like three books like in the same world, um, same town, all of that. Like I just have a ton of ideas I want to do for next year. I kind of just want to do a lot of shorter books and try to... I told myself to put less stress on myself, but <laughs> I just have a lot of ideas that I want down. Even just first drafts or outlines, like whatever. So anyway, you guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and got some new ideas for books to read or movies to watch. And I hope y'all enjoy them and get in the Christmas spirit. I wish y'all a Merry Merry Christmas if y'all celebrate, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!